I'm going to show you how to import your sketch designs into After Effects so you can animate them. Before we get started, there's a few things you need to download. There's the AEUX Sketch plugin and After Effects extension. So just go to this website. Links are in the description below. Once you have downloaded those, you'll need to go to aescripts.com and download the Mac version of the ZXP installer. This will allow you to install the After Effects extension. And lastly, this Apple Watch UI. And that's what we'll be bringing from Sketch into After Effects. OK, so here I am, and I've got the ZXP installer open. And I'm just going to drag this ZXP extension into the window and install it. Great, that's installed. And I'm going to install the Sketch plugin as well. I'll just double click on that. OK, cool. Now those are both installed. I'm going to hop into Sketch. And here's the Apple Watch UI. And uh, before we bring this into After Effects, I'll just make sure that the plugin was installed. There it is. Um, and I'm going to change a few things here. So let's bring up the light dial background. That's here. OK, gray. And I think the only thing else I need to change is this time scale color because it's white on gray, which doesn't come up so clearly. So that's this one. And I'm going to change it to that. Well, that didn't. That's kind of weird. Um, let's change it to this one. No, that's. I guess those are right. They're just, they just look, they look strange. Let's send this over to After Effects to see what happens. I'm going to select the artboard. Um, and you could either select the artboard or individual layers. You don't have to send everything. But in this case, I want to send the entire, everything that's in the artboard. So I've got the artboard selected and click on Send to AE. And just wait a second. 112 layers pushed AE. All right. And I go over to After Effects, and nothing's happening. So let's find out why. Go to Window Extension. That's because the AEUX extension wasn't open. Right. Once you open it, it imports, and great. So now I've got this Apple Watch UI, and it looks a little different, a little different than the original. You can see all of the notches around the outer circle are vertical instead of radial. Even the inner circles are messed up. And the icon in the top right, top left, actually all the corners are also, they also have some problems. So clearly just sending it directly as is did not work. So let's go back to Sketch and, and see what we can do here. The first thing I'm going to do is detach this face layer symbol by clicking Detach Symbols from the AEUX window. And I open that up to show four of these layers, still symbols. I'm going to detach those. And I still have two more here, so I'm going to detach these as well. OK, so now let's clean these up. I'm going to select everything here. and flatten the shapes. Cool. So that's good. And the last thing I want to do is just clean this up a little bit. So these shapes, actually all of these, I'm going to group these together just to clean it up. And this will be called time scale. This is the date. So I'm going to group these together. Call it the date. Um, this I'm going to group together. Fitness. Oh, this I'm going to group called alarms. This I'm going to group. Actually, no, I'm not sure what that is. 
Is it the battery? I'm not sure. Let's call it the battery. Okay, cool. So the reason I'm actually grouping those layers is because when you group them here, it will allow you in After Effects to clean it up and turn them into compositions as opposed to just a ton of layers. So let's try this. I'm going to select the artboard again and hit send selection to AE. All right, 51 layers pushed. And what's going on All right here? Great. So everything's looking pretty good. Um, and just a note, what, what happened there is it just imports the sketch file as a new composition, new layers. So you, you can still see I've got the old one. I've got the old one here. I'm actually going to do screen cap of that. And then so you can see a preview. So this is this is the new one, and this is the old one. So this is looking pretty good. There's still some problems with it, but uh, we'll get to those. Okay, so I'm just gonna actually show you all these layers here. I'm gonna hit tilde on the keyboard, and when I'm over the timeline, and you'll see I've got 63 different layers here, and not, like some, a lot of them are just named shape, and this is gonna be a mess to animate if you just leave it like this. So I'm gonna just minimize this by hitting tilde again on the keyboard. And actually I'm gonna select all by hitting command A. And so now I have all of the layers selected. I'm gonna go over here to the AEUX panel and choose this option called convert to precomp. So when I do that, magic happens. Look at this. Look at this, look how clean this is. All right, this is awesome. So I'm just gonna minimize that a little bit so you can see. So if I hit, uh, what is it, seconds? Where is that? There's two second hands. This is the larger second hand one. And I hit, and I, and I can rotate it. Look at this. Just hide the, hide the UI there. So, it's already pretty much ready to go. I can I can rotate these. Um, hit R here. I can rotate rotate this. Everything's all cleaned up and organized. So that this convert to precomp is awesome. Thank you so much for building that. So there's actually I think there's only one thing that I noticed that is that is missing from here, and that is let's go over to the sketch file. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. You can see on the minute hands, on the hour hand, and the second hands, that there's this, this shadow applied. If I click on it, you'll see here, there's got, it's got a three pixel blur. Um, when going to sketch to After Effects, you'll see um, not, not all the features are supported. So this is one of the ones that gets lost in translation or just gets ignored. So we're going to have to add that manually. So let's go back into After Effects here and select the second hand and um, I'll right click on it adding a layer style add drop shadow and bam okay cool so now if I zoom in here you can see we have a a drop shadow applied to the second hand I'm just going to adjust it expand this menu here um, let's drop this down to 40 and uh, let's play with the distance a little bit all right, one that looks good, and let's leave the side. I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this Command C after I select Drop Shadow. I'm going to collapse this, and I'm going to paste it on the minute hand, on the hour hand, and this other orange, um, this other orange second hand. So just Command V and Bam. All right. So now we have our shadows applied to all of those hands. I don't know what you're right. I missed one. I missed this bottom one here. So this one is part of this composition dial. So I'm just going to have to actually go in there and find it. Okay. So there's the seconds and I'll apply it to this layer paste. And I'm going to go back to that other composition. Okay. 
Now zooming out, they all have it applied and um, now you're ready to start animating. If this video was at all helpful to you, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. Will you continue to use Photoshop or Illustrator now that you can go directly from Sketch into After Effects? How will this affect your current workflow?